big progress guys been only one month since I bought this land bunch of weeds and no trees no fruits nothing but now planted here grapes two variety Reliance and Concord seedless about uh, 20, uh, 20 vines Three, again, it's about eight acres of land. Planning to have mostly fruit trees on it, some vegetables, uh, mostly uh, eggplants. Here I have apple trees. Over here. Over here I have nectarine trees, about I'd say 10 of those. More grapes around here. Much work still to be done. Look at all this weed. I've been taking it out with manual weed backer swinging it around by manually by hand really tough to do so much ahead to be done this is the lake been watering uh, all this from here manually with buckets for now eventually i'll get a system going mostly get some pumps uh, fittings pipes and try to get it automatically done so this is so much done here for the weekend type of thing I again I live about one hour half from here which is really far to drive in and back that's almost an entire day I come in on weekend drive early wake up six be here around eight and start to work on it I work during the week, which make it really difficult. Here on the floor, I have uh, uh, these repellents for uh, for uh, for animals from coming and, and eating in the plants. Bunch of weeds everywhere. This is mulberry tree. That's exciting. These get so large, I don't know if I gave them enough space to grow. This one here is a Durban Nectarine. Okay, this is exciting here. Russian palm, palm grenade. So this is so much varieties, but eventually I'm planning to uh, to focus on apples, Granny Smith, mostly Granny Smith. There are gonna be uh, other varieties with it, but uh, but yeah, as long as I'm able to focus on one variety, I may be able to make some profits off of it. This here, I have a large tarp to uh, take out the weed. Eventually, get will have like some vegetables under it. Let's turn on this one here. Okay, this is going. There's a bunch of those. Gotta got them, get them on before I leave. May have to get some security uh, camera system eventually. This is on. I have to add a couple because I planted a couple of trees today. I, today I planted three apple trees and planted uh, chestnuts. Three of those two. So we'll get these two 
staked in. I'll have this here under this tree, protecting it. These create like a protection uh, of about 120 degree over uh, 30 feet distance. So this is definitely not a permanent solution. This is because I'm starting in, I have to get something in the ground or all this tree gonna be eaten. This is cheap, cheaper than a fence. You can have, and the fence will not protect from deers. They can jump really high. And to fence a large area like eight, nine acres, Starting with a shovel, with the shovel and the manual lead backer, no way. Let's turn on this one here. This guy. Okay, this already on. Ooh. There's a couple here. One over there, next to the Arctic Fantasy Nectarine Tree. This works uh, on solar power, so they supposedly not supposed to run out of battery. I got many of the smaller one bees, which are uh, cheap per se. You can get about uh, five for 50 bucks. If you look and look and look as I did, these are a bit more expensive each for like, I think two for 50 maybe, but they can be a larger animal and they work over large distance. I'll show you now getting closer to the one of those and how it's gonna turn on on me start making noise okay I didn't turn off this coming in I don't think I did did I here we go now it's on it can see me Where are these? These here, under the larger trees, under in the forest. I figured to use the space for these smaller type of plants like uh, blueberry and uh, blueberry. And what is this one? Other variety of blueberry. So bunch of those in here. I'm hoping they can grow in more more shade, blackberry, bunch of weed, manually, manually pulling it all off with a weed whacker and by hand. See, this one just turned on, it's so, that one is on. See, making noise and the ver different variety. This type of one can be put on different uh, settings for different uh, sensitivity. It can sense um, smaller animal, so it, uh, it doesn't uh, focus on larger one like a, like a deer. But the, on the pictures, amazingly, they have a lion, so it can repel literally lions. I don't know. I wouldn't put the uh, bear on it, but uh, they have up to a lion, like it literally can repel large animals. So it's gonna be fun, it's large land, big progress, so quick, off the bat, starting off, one month owning the land. 
I don't know how this gonna uh, change eventually when I have more trees, more plants. Uh, whether I'm gonna be still be able to do it without a tractor, without a automated tool, without uh, help, I don't. I I literally don't know. And on the weekend only, so so much challenges. The weed itself is too much time consuming. Then you add to it. Uh, You add to it the, the large amount of land, the distance from home, the lack of tools, lack of money. So if I can do it this way, you should be able to do it. Please support me, help me out. I'm still new to this, new to, to YouTube, new to uh, planting. Uh, I, I'm hoping this eventually becomes a good source, good... Um, good uh, investment for me and uh, and survive winters and again what i have here is about eight feet distance between each in all direction so if i'm in the middle uh, next to this tree there's eight feet di distance about eight feet distance didn't do actual measurements but um, should be about right I seen different uh, videos where they show you t uh, 12 feet apart or like even three feet. There's the difference. I never seen eight feet to be honest with you, but from my understanding, from looking on up uh, and how these things grow and how much distance they need from each other, it it will. It, I feel like it will grow. Without a doubt, it will grow. That's what I think. But um, if they have more distance apart, they will grow further, larger, and uh, more anchored in the floor. But then you're, you're taking distances and make grow even higher in height. That's uh, challenging to uh, pick up the fruit. So many people already discussed those challenges where um, when these uh, trees grow large, it may become difficult to pick uh, the actual fruit from them. So. There's way around it, uh, the, uh, and it has many explain those. So I'll see what I can do. I hope uh, that uh, what I, what I, if I keep learning, keep understanding these, um, try to find ways to buy uh, better equipment, and then maybe eventually get a cabin on here on this plot. So I come in, uh, sleep on the weekend here, and then go back home uh, during the week for to work. This eventually will become my main source of income, but definitely we're far, far, far away from uh, that currently. So um, it will take three years to grow, but then, but once these are grown, I'm hoping I can sell some. I'm hoping, uh, I don't know how I will do it because it's be, it's gonna be about three months or four months of the year where these things produce so and there's gonna be so much production for home consumption only so much production and uh, over a short period of time so i don't know how uh, what i should do with all this to preserve it uh, to use it throughout the entire year please help me out with ideas with anything you can uh, with advice if you've done something similar before something at first gotta be cheap there's definitely ways if you have money you can hire someone literally to do everything for you we're not there yet you can um, get tools tractors uh, uh, lawn mowers stuff like that I'm not there yet we'll get there quicker than um, quicker than I can imagine over two years but uh, but yep at first it's gonna be hard work shoveling things moving things spending eight hours here using every second I'm here like again I, I drive so far so every time I'm here I gotta work 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 to get it 
to get as much done as possible to benefit from the three hour drive back and forth well enjoy please let me know if anything I can help with I appreciate any help I can get take care